ad revenue, super chats, affiliate links, Patreon profiles. There are so many ways that you can monetize a YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about when and how. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. By the way, I'm Dan and this is VidIQ. We are the YouTube tool, academy, and channel that helped educate you along your YouTube journey. And we do hope you will subscribe for more videos like this all the time. Today we are talking about channel monetization. A question for you to answer in the comments down below. How many views do you tend to get on the average YouTube video? Because on YouTube, making money is all about influence. You build this influence by creating a channel that's focused on a topic that you yourself are an authority on. It's tempting to look at our sub count and see that as the ultimate measurement of our influence here on YouTube. But at the end of the day, it's all about the views and the engagement in the eyes of a potential sponsor. Another important thing to note here is that your influence is gonna be viewed differently depending on the type of channel you have. A fishing channel, for example, that happens to be utilizing a local lake or river next to their hometown is going to have a different measure of influence than, say, a gaming channel that is going to reach a more global audience. The host of a small local fishing channel isn't going to need tens of thousands of viewers before they can go out and start shaking hands and creating partnerships with local businesses. The host of a gaming channel, however, has the potential to reach a global audience and a ton of competition in the gaming space to boot. Specifically today, I'm going to focus on gaming channels. There are a lot of opportunities to earn sponsors, make some extra money, and I have a little bit of experience in this space. So let's back up a step. Before we start talking about how to make money as that influential gaming content creator, we need to look into when. When will I be monetized? When can I promote my Patreon? When can I add affiliate links to my video description? We'll be going over all of those methods and more and how to best utilize them on YouTube. But before we do that, we need to talk about channels that may not be there yet. If you're a channel with views still in the low hundreds, you're under a thousand subscribers, the first thing we need to discuss before the how is the when. I really hesitate to put a number on it because it's gonna be different for every gaming creator, but let's just say that you're a gaming channel that gets roughly 500 views or less per video. I would argue that your central focus should definitely not be on monetization. A lot of us start on YouTube and we tend to put the YouTube partnership program criteria on a pedestal and we work towards that as fast as we can. I need 1000 subscribers and I need 4000 hours of watch time right now. We want to play ads on our videos and get just a little something back for all of the time and effort we're putting into making this content. So on your way to that major goal, it can be a little bit tempting to search for videos just like this one and try to find perhaps, for lack of a better term, shortcuts into monetizing your channel in the form of Patreon profiles or affiliate links. However, asking your very new and limited audience on YouTube to make that kind of investment in your channel should be done very carefully and very thoughtfully. At the beginning of your YouTube journey, nobody really knows who you are yet or what your channel is even all about. So having an audience that's willing to literally invest money into your channel is a very special thing and something that's not easy to come by. That level of dedication from your audience is earned over time. So at this level, the last thing on your mind should be how to make money with this very small YouTube channel that's still growing. Instead, your focus should be on providing value to your subscribers. Give them a reason to subscribe and continue coming back so they can continue getting to know you as a creator. So throughout the course of making content on YouTube that's valuable, entertaining, engaging, what have you, your audience will grow to trust and respect you. And once that time comes, then a Patreon link might make a little more sense. Speaking of Patreon and other monetization methods on YouTube, it's time we talk about the best practices, the how. So you've now built a sizable YouTube channel and you have an audience that cares about you enough to invest in your content. They understand that this investment will likely mean that you can continue making more videos or perhaps afford better equipment to improve their overall quality. They're already seeing the ads on your content and that revenue is something, but it's likely not enough to realize your more immediate goals for your YouTube channel. The good news is YouTube themselves offers a lot of ways you can monetize your channel outside of just Google AdSense alone. As a YouTube partner, you have access to a couple of tools, one of them being super chats during live streams. A super chat is essentially something from a member of your audience that is given to you during a live stream. It could be attached to a dollar amount, 
and that message is highlighted for everybody to see, the amount you donated, and the nice message to go along with it. Another relatively new method of monetizing your channel are channel memberships. Now, generally speaking, you need about 30,000 subscribers to qualify for a membership, unless you're a gaming channel then you only need a thousand subscribers. As with any new YouTube feature, this is something that's slowly rolling out. And it's a little bit different depending on the type of creator you are and maybe just how lucky you are. But ultimately, this is going to be an awesome way to monetize your channel and engage with your audience further. Another feature slowly rolling out to creators that's pretty new is the applause feature. This is gonna be similar to Super Chats on YouTube, but you don't have to be doing a live stream to get them. At any point, people can decide to just applaud your video and attach a dollar amount to it. Outside of the YouTube Partnership Program is of course a very popular option, and that is to set up a Patreon profile. Patreon, if you don't know, is a crowdfunding website where you can essentially set up different levels of perks. People can subscribe to you at different dollar amounts, and depending on how much they pledge, determines what kind of perks they get from you every single month. It's worth noting that you can also set up different perks for members of your channel. So I don't really see doing memberships and a Patreon profile side by side, but that's just my personal opinion. In any case, there are a number of different perks you could offer your patrons, such as a private Discord server, or you could release your content early to them, uh, or set up a Minecraft server for them to play on. Now, these are all examples that I myself have tried on my own Patreon, and I will warn you that Every single one requires some additional work on your part. If, for example, you set up that private Discord server, there's likely an expectation that you'll need to spend some time there. If you want to release your videos early, that's going to need to factor into your workflow every single time you upload a video. If you have a Minecraft server for them to play on, it's gonna be expected that you actually play on that Minecraft server with your audience. Of course, nothing stops you from just setting up a Patreon page, letting people know it's there, and seeing if they would like to invest in you, expecting nothing in return. In my personal experience, the most successful Patreon campaigns I've seen are ones that do require a little extra effort on the part of the creator. If crowdfunding sites aren't your cup of tea, there is always the option of putting an affiliate link in the description of your videos. Lots of different companies out there utilize affiliate programs to help promote their products or services. Some of the more common ones you'll see around help you build a website, or they like to sell keyboards and mice and chairs, or they're a server hosting company, like for Minecraft. I caution you not to just partner with the first company you find whose affiliate criteria you happen to meet. Instead, give some real thought into the types of products or services that you and your audience could benefit from. Then see if these companies that you already commonly see around or work with have affiliate programs and reach out to them. These aren't anywhere near all the ways that you could potentially monetize a YouTube channel, but they are some of the more common ones I see, especially in the gaming space. We have the complete guide to making money on YouTube course over on the vidIQ Academy. It goes in depth on everything you'll need to know about getting your YouTube channel monetized. You can learn more about it in the description down below. After you have ads enabled on your videos, consider these other avenues for making money very carefully. As your channel starts to transition from being just a hobby to becoming an actual business, be careful to do your research. For example, don't just say yes immediately to the first sponsorship that's offered to you just because it sounds super exciting to have a sponsor. Do solid research on any company you consider partnering with and always read the contracts you're about to sign carefully. YouTube channels can eventually become a business, but it takes time. And at the end of the day, don't forget to maintain that respect and trust that you've built with your audience. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something from it, we hope you will leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos from us here at vidIQ all the time. We will see you in the next one.